Hello, my friends. Good morning, and welcome back to What the K, where we test out Korean beauty products to decide whether they're worth your time and money. Today, we're going to be talking about an exfoliating mask called the Skin Food Strawberry Food Therapy. And this stuff smells so good. As you may have figured out if you've watched many What the K's, I like things that smell like food. <laughs> and this one smells like food. It smells and looks like strawberry jam. It doesn't smell exactly like strawberry jam. I have to say it does have a little bit of a lotion and kind of scent along with it, but it smells more like real strawberries than any other like makeup product I have ever used. It was $9.14 on Amazon for the 3.53 ounce version. You can also get a 7.5 ounce for $14. You can also get this on a website called iHerb that some of you have been talking about in the comments below and you can also buy this at Ulta But don't jump and buy this at Ulta yet because I have something to tell you about that as far as cruelty free A lot of people have been asking me about cruelty free status on the Korean beauty products So there is a blog called the clog.co that says that all products made in South Korea will be cruelty free by 2018 so I thought that was really interesting. I don't know that blog So I don't know I couldn't find that information anywhere else um, but I also didn't look very hard. <laughs> So uh, last night I was really, really, really tired. I had stayed up really late on Saturday night with a bunch of nine-year-olds sleeping at my house for my daughter's birthday party. So I went to bed early last night and now it's the morning, Monday morning, and you're gonna be seeing this on Monday so you can see how long in real time it takes me to edit one of these things. I didn't really spend a lot of time looking for that information elsewhere. I found it kind of right before I went to bed. So any other information I will put in the description box uh, that I find, or if you find anything that validates that, that would be awesome. I'll put it in the description box. So anyway, so Skin Food is on Logical Harmony, which is a very respected cruelty-free blog. They have it on their pending list. There's no statement on Skin Food's website as of whether it is cruelty-free or not. The only thing it says on their website is it says, we believe in loving each other and respecting the environment and world around us, but that is definitely not a cruelty-free statement, so I have no idea, to be honest with you. If I find any information, or if you find any information about skin food, then I will put it in the description. So let's go ahead and talk about the claims of the product. So this is off the Amazon listing that is by Skin Food. So it's I was actually surprised that they didn't put more of the ingredients in the description because the ingredients are actually really good, especially compared to some of the other Korean beauty products that I've been trying lately. The number one ingredient is the Caprolic Capric Triglyceride, which is a skin balancing ingredient. It's made from coconut oil and glycerin. Both are very nice ingredients for the skin, and that's the number one ingredient in this. It's really, really nice. The sucrose, I will put some links down below as far as the benefits of that. All I could find was a Huffington Post article, so as far as the validity on that one. The article cites three reasons sucrose is good for the skin. Number one, it says it draws moisture from the environment into the skin. Uh, number three was an exfoliating uh, thing, which this definitely is going to exfoliate. And then the second one, I just, I couldn't understand it last night. It, was, it wasn't too thick, but it was like making my eyes gloss over. So you can read it if you want to. <laughs> Number three is actual glycerin, which is a skin balancing ingredient. Uh, the next one is a cleansing ingredient, then there's a texture ingredient, and then there's acetyl ethahexanate, which is skin con conditioning ingredient, then a texture ingredient, then we've got shea butter, and then we start getting into things that uh, you may or may not like. So the next one is lanolin, which is made from the sebum of sheep. So it's like the oils that come up out of the sheep, and they get those off, and that is what is in this product. Uh, the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, that's one of the number one ingredients in there. Also in the, what's her name, um, Nicole Guerrero. In the Nicole Guerrero Lip Mask, it's one of the main ingredients. If you have ever been a nursing mom, you've probably heard of Lansino. I think the only ingredient in that is the lanolin. Uh, it's, it's good for severely damaged, cracked lips and or nipples from nursing. So I really enjoy lanolin as an ingredient. I use it on my lips. I love the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I also have a review coming up eventually of the Nicole Guerrero skincare line, but I'm doing the Ordinary first. 
Once I'm done with the review for The Ordinary, I'll go into the Nicole Guerrero stuff, but I do really like the lip mask. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you more about that when I get there. But anyway, so lanolin I really like as an ingredient. Of course, vegans are not going to like it because it is an animal product uh, and it may creep you out. So if it does, you don't want this. <laughs> Some other ingredients in here, we have a macadamia seed oil. So anyone with a nut allergy is gonna be out or a tree nut allergy is gonna be out. Meadow foam seed oil, strawberry seed, strawberry seed oil, water, two allergen concerns, BHT, and phenoxyethanol. Those are pretty common in skincare, so if you already know that you're allergic to those, just so you know those are in here, but if you haven't been allergic in the past, you're probably okay. Uh, and then some colorants and things like that. I noticed this was really weird. The iHerb ingredients and the Amazon ingredients were exactly the same, but the Ulta ingredients were different. They actually included less of some of these ingredients. I will put the comparison of the two lists next to each other so that you can see which ingredients they each have. Uh, and honestly, I feel like that if you're gonna buy this, you definitely wanna go either iHerb or Amazon. It seems like they have cut out some of the expensive ingredients for the Ulta version, I guess, to make more profit. That's what I would imagine. This is all speculation, but um, but I, yeah, I wouldn't buy it at Ulta. Even though the Ulta one still has some great ingredients in it, you're gonna get more bang for your buck if you buy it from Amazon or iHerb. Or iHerb, however you wanna say it. iHerb, 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 iHerb. Whatever you say. In Britain, I'm sure it's iHerb. So that is it for the ingredients. Let's go ahead and put this on my face. I haven't used it yet, so this is gonna be a first impression review. Put on my ears. I got my hair did yesterday. Took a little break from chilling with the fam and got my hair done. I feel like it looks so much better. But instead of bringing you into my bathroom, I have a bowl here of water. And you're supposed to wet the face, so I'm just gonna take my washcloth and dip it in the water. Oh, that feels really good right now. Oh. I could just do this all day. Why don't we just do a video of me just wiping my face with a towel? Like, that would be amazing. So now that my face is damp, we will. Oh, it's harder than I expected it to be. Kind of scrub a little bit of that up. And then we will rub it like these and we'll can definitely um, feel, oh my goodness, I look like I'm bleeding. It feels very, almost warming to the skin. It feels very oily. All those oils in here are very nice. I'm gonna scrub it a little bit and then you're supposed to leave it on for about 10 minutes to let those oils seep in. Ooh, that feels good. The grit is kind of a medium to larger grit, and it's not dissolving. So some grits will dissolve. Um, these sugar crystals or strawberry seeds or whatever is, the grit in here is definitely um, not dissolving. I don't feel like I'm saturated in oils, but I can definitely feel a little bit of oiliness on my skin. It looks a lot oilier right now than it feels. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a 10 minute break and go check on video comments on YouTube, and I'll be back in 10 minutes to wash this off and tell you how my skin feels. All right, we are back. Okay, I decided instead of answering YouTube comments, I ended up watching Ishani's uh, from Total Makeup Junkie 101, I ended up watching her anti-haul video part of it. Uh, so yeah, that's what I ended up doing for the last seven, eight minutes. So how's this feeling? This is still feeling quite oily on my face. I do want to zoom in so you can see the sugar crystals and the strawberry seeds. Okay, can you see the sugar crystals? Should we get even closer? Let's get a little closer. Okay, that's really close. <laughs> But you can see how oily my skin looks. You can see the sugar crystals and like right, yeah, right there. There's a little strawberry seed there. For me, the oiliness is a little bit uncomfortable, but it's not unbearable. So let's go ahead and wash this off. I'm just gonna dip my towel in and see all the sugar crystals coming off. It smells really good. <laughs> it still smells amazing. All right, dry towel. I'm actually gonna step away from the camera for about five minutes because I wanna see how my face feels in five minutes. Sometimes I feel like it takes a little while for my skin to kind of go back to normal after I use a skincare product. So give me about five minutes and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. 
So now it's been five minutes since I took off the scrub. And I'll have to tell you, I'm a little surprised that my face feels a tad bit dry. I guess it's the cleansing products that are in there that make my face feel a little dry. I mean, my face feels very soft, but I don't feel like it's as hydrated as I feel like it should have been based on the ingredients. I'm not saying I don't like it. I think I'm definitely going to keep using it, but that kind of disappoints me a little bit um, that I don't feel, my face doesn't feel especially hydrated. Because I was sitting there thinking as I had the mask on, like, oh, this is going to be so good for people with dry skin. This is a five heart rating product. It's amazing. But now the way that my skin feels is kind of telling me a different story. Um, that doesn't mean that my face isn't more hydrated than it was before I put it on. It's probably stripped some of the dirt and yucky oils off. There's skin balancing ingredients in here, so maybe I am more balanced than I feel right now. But feeling wise, I don't feel particularly balanced. Uh, but I'm trusting in the ingredients that my skin is, even though I don't feel it. Is that a logical argument? I was so gung-ho for this until I took it off and now I'm like, I don't know, I'm not really sure. It's definitely one of my favorite face scrubs that I've ever used. I'm really stuck between a five and a four on this for the heart scale. Um, maybe I'll figure out a way to do a four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> chop one of my hearts in half because I really do like this a lot and I don't think that I can give it a five but I don't think I can give it a four either because I really enjoy it the ingredients are so good this is definitely my favorite for ingredients since I reviewed the BB cream that was the cotton candy BB cream that stuff had really good ingredients in it as does this I've been really disappointed in a lot of the ingredients of the Korean skincare that I've been reviewing and the BB creams and things like that just because they seem seems so low down, but they're so high up in this. So I, I guess I'm, I'm counting on science and their research and what they say about the ingredients in here to bump up the rating on this. But if it had to be just based on feeling, it would go down to a four. Um, so yeah, so that's why it is where it is. And you can kind of decide whether this is gonna be good for you or not. Um, if you typically have scrubs that dry out your face really bad, this definitely doesn't have a really bad drying feeling. It's just slightly dry feeling. I am gonna go in with with the rest of my morning skincare routine and I will feel perfectly hydrated and wonderful. I was just hoping this would do it on its own. I don't know, I guess I had unrealistic expectations of it, but you know, all those beautiful oils and things, I just was hoping, but that's okay. It's all right, I still really, 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 really like it a lot. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed What The K this week, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss What The K. Next week, next week, we will be working with some clay masks. Uh, I have a few of these. These are modeling clay face masks. Uh, there's one with green tea, there's one for oily skin, one with collagen, a vitamin one, a cool one, a charcoal one. I haven't decided which one I wanna do. So if you have a vote of which one you want me to try, I probably won't do the oily skin one just because I don't have particularly oily skin, but any of the other ones, if you have a preference of which one you want me to try, I'll just go by vote. So whichever one you want, definitely vote for it in the comments below and whichever one gets the most votes, that's the one I'll try next week. So thank you again so much for watching. Hope you liked it, mad love, and I'll see you in a video soon. Bye.